Do you have lots of plants in your border that you'd like to support? Or are you going to get lots of expensive wire or metal cages for them? Or what about trying something that looks natural? Um, we've recently pruned our silver birch and we have lots and lots and lots of these things around and I'm going to make them into supports for plants in the herbaceous border. I'm not the handiest person so if I can do it you can do it I promise. It's Alexandra from the Middle Size Garden with gardening tips, ideas and inspiration for your garden. Many garden plants need supporting when they're in flower and it's important to get the supports in before the plant is fully grown because once it flops over it tends to kink for the rest of the summer. And even if you've only got one or two trees in your garden you can make easy natural plant supports from the clippings. We have a silver birch which has recently been pruned so we've chopped the larger branches up for firewood and are using the smaller twiggy ones to make natural plant supports. I've cut most of my birch twigs to about the length of a garden spade. You'll need about six to nine inches of slightly thicker wood so that you can jam that part firmly into the soil. Then make sure that the rest of the length has plenty of flexible twiggy bits that you can bend easily. You'll need about five or six small branches for each plant. Jam the twigs in around your plant in a circle. In autumn I cut down my dahlia foliage and protect it with a thick pile of mulch and I also add a stick into it so that I can see where the dahlia will come up in spring. Once you have your circle of birch twigs set firmly into the ground, gently begin to weave the frondy bits over and round in a circle, twisting each one around the next. As you twist, bend and poke the strands in, each branch secures the next one. It's very much like making a twig wreath. You could also use some twine to secure the support, although I haven't needed to. You'll need to experiment with heights a bit. A plant support should probably be about two thirds of the eventual height of the plant. Each plant support only took me about 15 minutes to make, although mine don't look as good as the professional ones at Doddington Place Gardens. But hey, this is the first one I've ever made, so I'm sure it'll improve. It really is easy. It's nice to reuse garden clippings rather than throw them away and the natural supports aren't as obvious in the garden as the metal ones and of course they're free. You can use birch, hazel or willow and yet let me know if you've had success in making supports with any other woods too and do subscribe to the Middle Size Garden YouTube channel. Hit subscribe, hit like and let me know what sort of garden tips you'd like to see. Thank you.